you're obsessed with Naomi Campbell. I feel like if Naomi Campbell was light skinned, you would be content with her being better than you and more far along in her career than you, more respected than you. But because she's dark skinned, it makes you feel away because you hate yourself. I know, I know. And that's why you project your insecurities onto other people. You're a narcissist. <laughs> thought we forgot <laughs> tyra banks bring your bobblehead ass here there have been some videos that have resurfaced of you terrorizing black women first of all i've been said that tyra wasn't this is not the first time that tyra banks has been called out where do we start we can start with yaya we can start with naomi campbell i knew you i think i really do feel like tyra banks is a colorist i think she has an issue with dark-skinned black women honestly it's low-key traumatizing i don't think people really like understand the magnitude of this woman's actions tyra is the epitome of the statement all skin folk ain't kin folk she has this like horrible habit of putting on this little weird valley girl white girl accent when she's like trying to entertain white women and then switching it up and putting on this little <coughs> sister girl ass act when she's trying to like you know um connect to her black audience and it's just weird how she turns it on and turns it off my issue with tyra banks is her is the way she treats black women even beyonce tyra banks being trash is nothing new and so for all you little gen z's who just got hit like welcome to the club we been knew that tyra wasn't shit tyra been problematic she's been a colorist she's been extremely aggressive to, towards dark-skinned black women and we're freaking tired of it she does a lot of racially charged comments talking about i got hot sauce in my bag for some chicken she definitely plays on stereotypes and it don't make it no better that she done went and married the bluest eye, blondest hair, white man that she could find. Just because you black, that don't mean sh Tyra Banks is anti-black, period. And she's been like that since from the jump. To this day, you still on Naomi Campbell's tail. You still keep bringing her up. Keep Naomi Campbell's main name out your mouth, sis. Like, what is wrong with you? Remember when people was calling Tyra Banks fat? Kiss my fat ass. Black History Month was after that. Bitch, in honor of <laughs> Black History Month, she recreated um her Sports Illustrated cover that is an insult to our ancestry. That's an insult to just black people in general. You want to go and recreate a photo, you can go and do that on your own time. But leave black people out of it. When we think about our ancestors, when we think about black history, Tyra Banks, girl, you are not who we think about, girl. Sports Illustrated, girl. That's that narcissistic ass behavior. It's really self-centered. When you picked Eva Marcel, everybody with any sort of common sense know that Yaya should have won. You terrorized Yaya all season. For what? Eva Marcel is your protege and she over here calling uh, black women on Housewives of Atlanta nappy headed. You foster an environment that's anti-black. And that's why she feels comfortable doing that. She was rewarded for bad behavior. She should have never won that damn show to begin with. Janice Dickerson? Come on now. Her crackhead ass. She used to say some wild shit to them black women and you wouldn't say shit telling Danielle that her gap was not marketable, but then turning around and giving a white woman a gap. You might as well say that blackness is not marketable either. Now you want to get that half-ass apology. You can go on and see, girl, you want me to give them makeovers? You need one mama. You need a life over. That content is forever. There go your legacy right there, terrorizing black women. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, Tyra. You're obsessed with Naomi Campbell. Like, let it go. You're not that girl. Naomi Campbell will and forever will be the greatest model to ever live. It's not you. Like, get over it. And I really do think that you're like, you feel away because Naomi Campbell is dark skin. I feel like if Naomi Campbell was light skin, you would be content with her being better than you and more far along in her career than you, more respected than you. But because she's dark skin, it makes you feel away because you hate yourself. I know. I know, and that's why you project your insecurities onto other people. You're a narcissist. Talk about some black history. You chastising black women is a part of your history as well. A whole black woman dressing people up in blackface. A whole black woman telling um, telling people that having black features is not marketable. You're trash. And then you want to talk about in light of these recent um, occurrences. You know, I I I recognize that it was insensitive. Girl, this is nothing new. We've been on your neck. 
But now that it's reached a higher audience, now you now you see what the tea is when we've been saying this this whole time. Let this be a warning to all of y'all celebrities out there to clean that up because these videos are resurfacing. Bitch, you almost 50 years old. You ain't no little ass girl. You a grown ass woman. I know you like to pretend and go on and on like you child, but you're not. And it's time for you to grow up. And I'm just ready for us to just, 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 you will forever get the side eye from me. I knew at 10 years old, I knew you was like, something was really mentally wrong with you. Or like your elevator just didn't go all the way up. Don't even get me started about how you be cutting these girls hair off and then sending them home the next week. It's, and I'm sorry, like, I do think it's different when you cut a black woman's hair off in, in, in comparison to a white girl because just our hair in, in culture is just different. Like, black women's hair is a very spiritual thing, okay? It's very dear to our hearts. Call it thing a thing. You was doing that shit for TV. You was doing that for ratings. Like, you knew exactly what you was doing. That's exactly why you did it. You might as well just stay silent like you've been this whole time. Tyra, I don't see it for you. I don't see it for you. I don't see it for Eva either. You next. Eva's career ain't, <laughs> ain't even nothing to even mess up. Anyways, y'all, thank you for clicking this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back. Deuces.